Hey folks, if you're in the market for a small desktop tripod, you may want to give this little guy a try. This is the Zomi, Z-O-M-E-I, fully adjustable, all metal construction, metal joints, ball head. I give it a thumbs up. Watch the rest of the video for the full review. Okay, friends, so first off, what came in the box? Um, so this is the box for the Zomi, Z-O-M-E-I, tabletop tripod. Um, I bought this off of Amazon, um, cost me $40 and 99 cents, uh, not including tax, uh, free shipping. So in the box, it came in this nice little, uh, bag here. Um, also included was a little hex wrench for disassembling the ball head. If you ever need to do that. Um, these are just packing. It also came with a uh, iPhone or a mount for a uh, smartphone. iPhone, Galaxy, Samsung, whatever you got. Um, and it does this kind of little expander thing so it can fit multiple things. And then of course inside was this thing, the uh, desktop tripod and it is fully adjustable. Um, it does come with a ball head. So it does some uh, swiveling. Um, the legs just go in very easily. And uh, this one. So there is this little guy and it's really nice construction um, all the uh, the joints are metal I assume this is aluminum cast aluminum um, the head I don't know if the heads aluminum but the mounting plate is um, it's, it's got some uh, degree I guess markings here so you can in a pinch use this to uh, pan uh, but it really only works good one way because when you go counterclockwise it wants to unscrew the ball head um, but not a big deal it's also got this level bubble here which I really don't know what use that is when it's on a vertical configuration like that the only thing I can see is maybe um, if you put the tripod or your camera in this configuration um, You know something like this um, Maybe if it was in that configuration um, Maybe you know, but it's more gimmicky So it does have a nice ball head on it um, the legs are adjustable. Um, it's got a little locking me mechanism on each leg. So each leg has uh, three different positions. So this is the most vertical position right now. Uh, we can lift this. This locking mechanism comes in and out. If you can see that. And you can go to the second position. There's also a third position. And you'll see the leg is almost uh, completely horizontal in that position. Uh, I'll put them all in the second position because this actually gives you the lowest position as well. Um, and here, this is, I measured it, it's seven inches vertically from the tabletop to the top. If you want to put it in the highest position, Simply adjust those legs again with the little locking uh, mechanisms. Adjust the head to the highest height. And then you can start uh, taking the legs out and uh, actually we're going to look at this leg. And what you see here is this unscrews and these feet are rubber, softer rubber. So they're very nice, kind of grippy. But to 
to lengthen the leg, you simply unscrew this counterclockwise and you'll feel little detents. So you'll see that happening there. That comes out one segment. Again, second segment. Again, third segment. And finally, all the way out. To lock, just screw it back in. Pretty cool. And very quick to pull out. Um, I think I missed this one. There you go. Give those a good tight squeeze. Um, nothing too crazy. It is, I didn't miss one. These bushings are plastic between the segments or the, I don't know, some kind of bearings or whatever you want to call them. So I don't know how sturdy those will be. But in this configuration, um, you can get to about a uh, 19 inch height from the desktop to the uh, uh, top of the plate. So, and you can see that ball head does, will come unscrewed. I guess that's one of the, uh, the things you just, it's not a deal breaker. It's just, you know, you won't be able to pan counterclockwise very well because the head kind of does want to come unscrewed. But it's completely stable. I don't have any problems with it. Well, my confidence is pretty high that it's going to be just fine. This uh, screw locking mechanism to uh, lower and and raise the unit you know not the greatest you really kind of got a crank on it doesn't make me slightly nervous and you can still kind of move uh, the post in there but not 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 a problem for me anyways so it does come with it also came with a uh, does come with a mounting plate and this mounting plate has two little uh, protruding hex head bolts which are nice because once they're once they're secured your camera won't slide in and out so we'll take a look at that I'm going to lower this again uh, before we do that so simply just counterclockwise squish them back in So the uh, the plate mounting system is very easy. Um, let me just unlock this a little bit. This unscrews. This is uh, this knob controls the width of the two, I guess, claws, I guess, that that grip this plate, and you just kind of slide it in at an angle. Oops. drop it in and once it's even loosely in there it's not going to come out and obviously you'll you'll tighten it up securely and snug but that's a nice safety feature because once this the uh, adapter plate is mounted to your camera um, it's pretty secure or your camera's pretty secure it's you know in in the uh, if it falls your head falls down like that your camera's not going to fall off and Hit the table or hit the floor. So I'm going to mount this to my trusty uh, Canon T3i. So again, to mount this, just extend the jaws wide open. Put your camera in at an angle and secure it. Now you can see it's not secured all the way. It's still loose, but it's not coming out. Even like that. So this little tripod has no problem, hold, problem holding this um, heavier DSLR, this Canon T3i has no problem. Stability, I like to use it with the legs out in one position or one out one extra position. So 
in this position very sturdy you know i have my confidence is high with this you know unit it is all metal the post is metal the head's metal uh, the joints really important those are metal Uh, the feet are nice soft rubber very grippy so you can also take the post out and reverse it and hang the camera upside down and i'll i'll do that right now nice and there you go all right let's go ahead and weigh this and see what this uh, bad boy comes in at uh it looks like one pound eight ounces um or 688 grams so this is a heavy little guy um this wouldn't probably be well for a backpack setup um but for a desktop uh tripod it's great it's nice and heavy duty just what i wanted okay so what bugs me about this uh this tripod or what don't I like? Um, really, there's only three things I would maybe question. Uh, one is the tensioner on the um, the post. Um, you really got to crank on it, you know, and still you can kind of spin it a little bit. Uh, the other thing is the pan on the uh, ball head um, works great going clockwise. Uh, when you go counterclockwise, it can just start to spin the head off not a big deal but just something to be aware of the other thing might be these little uh, lockers um, on the legs they're not spring-loaded so to adjust you need to pull them out um, like this, so and they don't spring back in so they'll stay out um, and you'll need to manually close those um, I guess the last thing might be uh, the legs. Um, love the operation, but is it going to be durable? I don't know. We'll just, you know, have to see about that uh, long term. Maybe I'll come back and do a six month or one month review to see how those hold out. But for 41 bucks, it's worth it. You know, none of these are deal breakers for me. So 